can you see my can you see my powerpoint can somebody yes. confirm yes yeah. sir uh, so with respect to available e resources i would say that we have these major uh, resources that are available for students immediate use sort of thing or rather day to day type usage etc but as we go down i would like to even stress the uh, importance of some of the other software that is available uh, which may be very specific for your research projects or if you are doing some comprehensive research, uh, design project or something like that or even some other assignment where you can use some of those resources so e resources wise uh, you are we have uh, ms products so all students you uh, you are eligible to get uh, uh, microsoft products uh, that is you know including uh, office 360 that is word excel uh, powerpoint etc licensed versions and uh, so i would like to encourage don't use in the university whilst you are staying any pirated software okay because you have been privileged to have licensed software and always license software will give less trouble. You know, it will be more protected from viruses uh, and as well as the system to be stable uh, and as well as it would be more productive. So remember, you have MS product, MS product, Microsoft products, free of charge, licensed versions for you. And good news is you can install into these uh, products to 10 different devices, 10 different devices. So you have a license that you can use for 10 different devices. Why 10? You know, you may have a laptop, then it might, you know, have some problems you have to reinstall. And because of that, you know, you might use two licenses, uh, you know, as well. Then you might have a mobile phone. Then again, you might, you may want to use office and other things. Again, you can use the same license for your mobile phone to use those uh, to make it uh, Word, Excel, and that is available. You might have a tab if you are, you know, your, if your parents are rich and if you have money, uh, then you can buy a tab as well, and then uh, you can use it as well. Then, uh, actually, Microsoft has this concept. Okay, uh, you you may use uh, a, a, not a laptop but a PC. Then in your room, you might have a PC, one device. And when you go home, uh, or, uh, you can have another device. Uh, so then you can have you know, another license, et cetera. So remember, Microsoft products is one great facility of e-resources that you have. Then we have library-related resources, a lot of books, and then theses and journals. Uh, most of those things are available in the library. And some of them, some of those are now available as e-resources. So actually you can access from, uh, you know, outside even. Actually, some of the resources you can't access outside because it's, uh, you need to give your password. Uh, you have to register with the library. That is one of the problems that I have with the library. You know, they use some other account, et cetera. Sometimes that is a problem. But anyway, it's available. But if you're inside the university, the university uh, system, we have the network, and that network, all the devices with the IP. And those IPs, the library system recognizes, and then it gives access directly. So if you are inside the premises, you can access library resources without any problem. Then uh, if you are doing research, you can use Science Direct as well to search for information. I would like to encourage that because uh, for research purposes, etc., science direct and that sort of thing is very important. Then we have uh, open source software uh, that are quite available now. Uh, so I would like to show you where you can get open source resource, uh, software. So open source is like Moodle. The concept is open source that is a community development. Now, what happened is commercial software it's developed by a company or with a business uh, orientation. That's that's okay. That's not bad. We need that arrangement. But sometimes, you know, some software can be developed by contribute uh, by large number of people's contribution, uh, and then it can be developed easily. Like Moodle is a very good example. It's an open source system. 
So where can you get the Moodle? I'll show you the place that you can get where you can get Moodle. And as soon as you go to that place, you will find there are a lot of transport and logistics software as well. So remember, sometimes when you are doing a project, you might be able to use some of these things. And as soon as when you start working, even sometimes you know if a company cannot afford, and if you are if you are joining a medium scale company or a small company, then sometimes you know this open source software will be quite handy because you might be able to give a quick start. Uh, with the software with the, at a lower cost, and uh, that will be an added advantage. So this is uh, uh, important thing that you should be aware. Uh, these sort of e-resources are available. And while you are in the university system, if you are doing research, etc., you can get even hardware also free of charge. Particularly what I mean by hardware is uh, computer servers. So university system for research purposes, you can get a what is called a VPS, virtual private uh, server. Of course, that is only for a limited period of time, maybe one year, maybe uh, something like that, or even one semester. If you say this is my requirement, you can get such uh, uh, e-resources as well. So you can see that you know quite a lot of e-resources are available for students uh, when you're at the university. Uh, so let me say Microsoft products, and then uh, you can get your Microsoft product from uh, university website. You can go to there, and uh, I'll show you now how to go there because some of you may have already gone there and got those software, but probably the first years or sometimes the second years even may have not gone there. Uh, so I will show you where you can get your Microsoft products, uh, etc. Uh, so remember. This is quite valuable. For example, Windows license uh, is quite valuable. You know, if you try to buy it, uh, you know, you can buy. Uh, sometimes it might cost ten thousand rupees. Sometimes, you know, at least five thousand to ten thousand rupees. Uh, it will cost minimum. And then, if you try to buy Word, Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, and other things, that is, you know, at least costing something like, you know, ten dollars. That is thousand rupees per month at least minimum. So that, that you're talking about another 12,000 rupees per year, okay? So university whole duration, it's about 50,000 rupees. So all these things are free on academic concession. University is paying for these things now. It was free sometime back, but now university is paying uh, because uh, the free era has gone. Uh, so I think other thing is when you could take these e-resources, remember nothing is free. Okay, don't think that you can hack something and you know use it free. That is wrong. And if you do that these days, increasingly you are vulnerable for many other attacks. So it's not coming as free. And uh, we have to understand that if you want to use Microsoft product, one day you have to pay. So while you are at the university, university is paying, uh, so you can get your licenses. But remember, when you pass out, you have to pay. Now, this is the theory and SLS. Of course, as I told you, there are alternatives. Uh, if you want to be license free, but still legal licenses, then you can use open source software, open office, which is a quite a good one. Uh, and there are many other products like that, uh, which can be used. You know, I have some colleagues or friends at computer science and engineering department. They, they don't like to use Microsoft product. They like to use open source product. So they use only open office, open so For me, sometimes, you know, I still could not get used to it. Plus my other problem is some of the software that I use needs Microsoft working environment or Microsoft Windows operating system, like uh, product that I use MS project for project management. Then uh, things like AutoCAD won't work in a uh, Ubuntu or uh, uh, open source in the operating system. So that is the reason that I uh, work uh, or use Microsoft Windows and other things like that. So in the case of MS products, that we have two products categories available. One is Office 365. The other one is Windows 10 and other softwares. Okay, let me show uh, that. And then uh, uh, I will uh, share the screen again. Uh,
So we need like three gray. Yeah, I'll share the screen. Uh, Yeah, so this is uh, you know our university website. Now the problem is it's quite hidden there. Uh, like sometimes you know even my academic staff sometimes you know find it difficult to find the exact location. Uh, when you go to a university website, there's a thing called top links, and uh, under top links uh, you will find uh, uh, there are links, and there's a thing called Center for IT Services. You click that. And you, it will take you to IT services, and there you can see the Zoom on top. But at the very bottom, you will find that MS products via academic subscription. You click that, then you will get uh, this uh, uh, Microsoft uh, link. And uh, yeah, it says uh, Microsoft Office 365 subscription, other MS products. So there are two. So if you want Microsoft products, okay. Uh, so you click here, uh, there's a link called uh, products office uh, student. So both the uh, academic staff as well as students, uh, staff and students, uh, if you use this link, uh, uh, it will take you there. Uh, I don't know whether it took you to the other link, Can you see Office 365 education on top or I think I'll reshare. So it will take you to this particular web page and there you can see and put here university email. Okay. So put here university email that is uom.lk and that will recognize and then if you click that, it will take you to the login page. Uh, then it will ask whether you are a student or not. Uh, so if you say you are, a, in my case, I say I'm a teacher and then it says sign in. Uh, so then if you don't have a account, it will help you to uh, sign. So it, for my case, it says no need to sign. So I can say got it. And then it will take me to Microsoft website, okay? And uh, so, uh, uh, so it will take me there. Uh, I have admin account as well, so that is. Uh, yeah, I would like to uh, tell, uh, let me stop sharing, I think we to some other place. It will uh, take you there. And uh, so, uh, yeah. so it says uh, over here, uh, if you are UOM users, both staff and students, you are eligible to download license Microsoft Office uh, 216 offline version as well. Actually now you can 365 also coming. Uh, so you can download and you can install to your local, uh, your personal computer as well. So there you can, uh, let me see that I can get the web page. Okay. Uh, yeah. uh, so here, uh, in the case of Office 365, you will get, uh, this thing will let me start the link.
it will ask your password and uh, yeah, sign in. Uh, Yeah, uh, so it will take you to uh, this one. Let me, yeah, so you can see, uh, you can find uh, Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint, OneDrive, you get a free account. Uh, you get SharePoint services, OneNote, uh, and then many other uh, facilities as well. Uh, yeah, so this is the page that you will see. Can you see that there's a page with good afternoon and uh, Microsoft PowerPoint, etc. Can somebody confirm? Yes, sir. it's visible. Yeah, it's visible. So you get all this software and uh, this is my OneDrive. It shows me my, my OneDrive, all the accounts and other things, etc. The files that have been working. Uh, so these are the you know various types of documents, etc. So it, it, it basically synchronizes and as well as it's helps to keep your documents, uh, etc. So you can use your office, uh, your mobile phone or any other thing as well uh, to use these things. Uh, let me give one a couple of minutes, uh, two, three minutes. Uh, if you like, you can go to the website of University of Moritua. And if you're not going to these uh, Microsoft products, go to Citex web website, uh, that is Center for IT Services. And then that is on the top link. And then uh, you can go to Microsoft uh, MS Pro Microsoft products under academic subscription, and then you can get all these uh, facilities. Okay, uh, is that clear? Yeah, okay, I think uh, if there are any questions, you can put it to the chat as well. Uh, so that is, I will uh, put it. Uh, uh, there's another link uh, that I want to show as well. Uh, yeah, when you go to uh, academic subscription, I will reshare it. When you enter the website, uh, you will uh, go to this one. Now, as I told you, there are two things. One is Microsoft Office subscription, and there's the thing called uh, other MS products. Now, this is the place sometimes people get lost. They never click this one. And uh, because of that, they will never get the other ones. So when you click that one, it will change to Azure, uh, free MS products. And then there's another link here called sign up for Azure, etc. Okay. It's the same account, but I don't know. Earlier it was one place, but now they have put it to a two different places. If you go to this Azure thing, uh, it's a quite a powerful thing that they advertise that they are this is the place that you can get given servers and various things like that. And under that, you will go to a different page. And uh, so it shows you know, various types of things like that. You can activate your Azure account. And sometimes people all uh, you know, get lost here. Uh, but there's another tab here on the left called software. Click on that tab. And then you can see uh, all the uh, some more software that is available under that. Under that, you can get your Windows 10 license key. So for example, uh, this is Windows 10, you can see uh, there are different versions as well. And then you can get any Microsoft server versions, starting with uh, 2019 server version and going down the R edition. I think even for a long time, even 2008 R2 was available. Uh, 
and then you can get Microsoft Access 2016 a license version. You can get Microsoft Project license version. Microsoft Project is a very expensive software. It's about $1,000. That is about 200,000 rupees at the commercial price. Uh, even with maximum discount, you can buy it for about $500. So that is about 1,000, uh, 100,000 rupees. Uh, so remember, you can get that also. We are using that for project management subject. And as well as it's a useful software to be used in the industry for managing projects, et cetera. And as well as even to manage even events, Microsoft Project is a very good software. Uh, so it's you may have to dig like a mine uh, for this software. So sometimes some students don't get it. Uh, you have access and then you can see Microsoft Project uh, there. Visio Professional 2019-2016 is available. So if you want to improve your graphics and other things, you can use Visio. And that is quite good as well. And uh, then you have you know, uh, various other products that are there. So Visio Professional is available. Uh, then, uh, yeah, so access and uh, Microsoft Project in the morning I checked it was available. Uh, now I can't find. Yeah, anyway, it's there. I know it's there. It's so it's like that. Uh, those resources are available. Uh, you can use. And as well as this Azure uh, thing will give you access to what is called Microsoft SharePoint. Microsoft Shop SharePoint, they introduced expecting in 2000, it to be the, the common tool that the officers will use to develop even small software. So they expected it to take, take uh, you know, momentum. In USA, a lot of medium to small companies use Microsoft SharePoint to day-to-day -day sort of various sort of small information systems. But in Sri Lanka, people don't use much. Uh, and as well as Microsoft uh, SharePoint is a bit messy, uh, unless you know you have a help of a person who is familiar with uh, SharePoint, uh, it will not be easy. It's like, a, uh, like the Google form, and it's much more powerful than the Google form. Uh, it can store files, it can, you know, all kinds of things are possible uh, in this e-resource. So remember, a fair amount of uh, e-resources are available with Microsoft uh, products.